go. Let's fish oh, it. Yeah, there we go. As you could see in the intro, the ling fishing was freaking stellar. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, headed out to a lake in central Montana. There's a lot of ling in it. Um, really, every lake almost in Montana has ling. And if there's ling, that means there's probably a lot in there. So, um, in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown of the bait kind of the structure all the little tricks depth all that good stuff to be able to hopefully get you on some of that poor man's lobster so we'll catch you out on the lake we'll get some cool drone footage and yeah maybe you will know where i'm at and all the power to you so um yeah we'll catch you out on the lake we got the panda and we're off we're headed over there, but here we go. Baby. Hey guys, stop! Grab your bait and listen. Well, we made it to the lake. I don't know how good you can hear me. It's pretty windy out here, but you can see all loaded up. We're headed out there, and uh, yeah, get fishing. Hopefully, we can catch them. We're just gonna get set up here. Everything's out ready. Just about ready to set the ice house up. We got a little GoPro for a time lapse, so you'll see that. But let's get her set up. It's my best friend Mike. We're hitting Lake Poygan for the trophy fight. Will I catch a first? Hey, I guess so. I got some new jigs and a brand new sight. Hey, Mike, what's up? Yeah, what's up? I bought the beer. Soro! I got a nice pair of boots to go with my hat and my blazer suit. But that ain't enough. So I chew and treat fair of heavy duty flannel thermal underwear. Drilling. The ice is half a foot thick. Yeah. My gas powered ice auger ought to do the trick. Yeah. If I want to eat crepe, I gotta catch dinner. Drop my line in the hole with the minnow and the spinner. Finally got the rods in the hole. I got the heater rolling. Got the 360. My other GoPro died, the one that did the time lapse. It's so dang cold out there. And it almost looks like I know what I'm doing with being by myself and everything, but that's the first time I've I've ever set it up and it was wasn't near as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's the first time I'm out here alone and I kinda like it. I got the whole ice house to myself super quiet and uh already marking a bunch of fish i don't think they're lean quite yet it's still a little too early but turns out uh, i left my coat so that's why i'm in a sweatshirt and also left the bait and turns out that those fish that were marking are perch and so i put a perch jig on real quick dropped it down caught two right off the get so we got bait and yeah it's gonna be a good night i can i'm feeling good about it i think we're gonna catch a bunch of fish so we're in 43 feet of water and i'm on this knoll out here i'm i don't know a good four or five hundred yards off the shore and i'm on like i said you can see it on the depth chart it's this big mound underwater a little island or whatever and it jets all the way up to 36 foot so it's a good place for the bait fish to go which is going to bring obviously all the other fish so look for that kind of thing when you go out for really all fish um but this is a little deeper too so i'm a ways out which is kind of weird but you just got to do your research and drill holes and stuff and you didn't see me pop a bunch of holes because i've been out here and um i know semi where i'm at and i would be fishing right on the knoll but um it snowed so i couldn't find the freaking holes and so i'm in the general location and 
I'm only a few feet shallower or deeper than I'd like, which it, that doesn't matter. So we're out here and uh, hopefully as soon as that sun goes down, the lean come in. But as you can see right now, the whole bottom, that's just all perch. I mean, it's pretty crazy how many are down there. But it seems like as soon as it gets dark, they scatter. So, um, oh yeah, see, look at that. They're starting to leave, kind of. Oh, they did. And they're back. That might be a lean, actually. Maybe that's why they left. You can almost tell on, I don't know, like most fish finders, this is kind of a low-end fish finder, but you can, you can dang near tell the size of fish and, like, the size and stuff it's it's pretty cool the newer ones you'd be able to tell how big i mean those new ones are crazy but this works out and uh yeah hang in there we will have some fish on shortly all right finally i'm feeling one feeling one. Oh yeah there we go it's taking forever it's been dark. I'm not sure exactly how long, but finally got one. I don't know how big. Doesn't feel too big. It's a nice one. There's a bunch down there right now, though. I took him up slow. I kind of noticed he was small. If you take him up too fast in this deep of water, they'll uh, their bladders will pop out and they'll die. So, if you know it's small, try not to rip them up. You really ate it though. All right. Man, they just wanna hold on to that sucker. There we go. And there he is. Not a bad guy. Get him back, he's not too big. Be a good eater though. Come on, buddy. I might have to eat this one. We'll keep him. I think his bladder got got a little bit. Oh. Come, is he gonna go? Maybe I can. Oh, he went. Let's catch some more. They're down there. Bunch of them down there. I can almost guarantee I put this baby ling jig on. I'm going to catch some baby ling. Cause there's a bunch down there right now and they won't eat my big one but i think they're gonna eat this one for sure Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. He's right on me. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Might not be a baby ling either. As soon as I put that baby ling jig on. Almost literally called it. It's weird how it works. 
Sometimes you use little too big. And oh, a little fighter is what he is. I wonder what that is on his belly. Oh, his mud. You guys see that mud that was on his belly? When I first pulled him up, look at that right here. That's just mud. Look at that. That is crazy. So crazy. Look at that too. That's his bladder. When it's really bad, I kind of pulled him up quick because I thought he was bigger. But uh, this one here, he uh, he'll make it because that's just his poop. Oh, oh, yep. There he goes. Just like that. And there's another one down there. See how quick it is. I mean, this it's crazy how it works because you use big jigs, which usually will catch the small fish, but every once in a while they just prefer a little bit smaller. And that's that jig isn't that much smaller. I mean, like it's just a little bit smaller and that was almost instant I mean come on I told you guys though Let's see if we won't get another one real quick you might just really want this small jig. There's a fish that just swam right down. He might. Come on. You gonna take it? He's right on the bottom. It's gotta be a lean. That was number two, and it's, see what time it is? I got out here at like three, so it took about four hours to get into them. It hasn't been dark that long though, maybe, maybe three hours now that it's been dark. So, should only get better. We'll see though, we'll see. Well, if my piece of crap Record 360 worked, you guys would have saw the hook set, but for some reason the thing, oh, oh, that pisses me off. So expensive, it doesn't even work. Another, even smaller. Then the last. Oh geez, he really got hooked good. There you go. Come on. There he goes. Blow her up. Makes sense why they're eating the little jig though. And that is because they are tiny little ling. Still a fish though. I can't complain. But that stupid Record 360. I even got plugged in. I don't know what the deal is. That would have been freaking awesome. Oh, makes me so mad. It's the only hook set I didn't get though. All the other ones I did. Another two. That's number three. And, uh... 
Yeah, so I'm gonna keep messing with that Record 360 and uh, hopefully I can get a fish on it because that would look awesome. This one up slow. I think he's just little. Oh, he's chunky. Definitely a chunker. See if I can't get this one right here. Usually, when they come through, they come through. So. I think we're gonna keep this guy. Be a good eater. We'll keep him. Bigger. It's a scrumptious one. Bladder didn't come out. Uh, maybe we'll let him go. not really any point in keeping one this size you don't get a whole lot of meat so I'll let him go let him get a little bigger and, uh, I don't know if you can see my bobber but it just started going he's got to be on it oh yeah Another one. See if my other one's getting hit. Son of a gun. Got tangled up with my other rod. Just a little freaking minnow. Baby ling. Probably the smallest one I've caught tonight. Bobber's down. We're gonna hook. I lost him. Son of a gun. Maybe he'll eat it again. The little guy feels like. Let's see if I can't catch this other one. Huh. Big long one. Still just a little guy though. Barely had him hooks. Man, they can make a mess. Going in and out of the hole. Son of a gun. I hope I got that on the Record 360. The Record 360 has been being weird today. I don't know why, but it's been 
being a pain in the butt. It'll record and then it won't and I don't know. Let's just hope it it got it. I think that's number it's number four or five, I don't know. It's been pretty slow. I don't know. Seems like I'm marking a lot of fish up high. They might be spawning. It's pretty late in the year, so I don't know. They could be spawning. Not really eating, more so just spawning. <laughs> but uh, it's been decent. Not as good as it's been, but we're still catching fish. So it's always a plus. I uh, that one actually, I seen him come in and. I was just watching a movie because it's been so slow. I don't know what time it is. 10.14, so I've been out here since 3. It's been pretty slow, but we're hooking fish, so I'm going to keep at it. We'll, uh, we'll get this GoPro rolling and hopefully get some other angles on these fish, so. We'll see you then. Oh yeah, we got a bobber. We got a bobber. Let him sit there like 30 foot. He's not big. So we'll bring him in nice and quick. Just another little one. I don't even know what one we're at, to be honest. Caught quite a bit. Dang. Jig barely fit in his mouth. Look at that. <laughs> Hungry little guy. But yeah, so since I let him sit there at 30 foot, he's small. His bladder didn't come out, nothing. It's just so deep sometimes they, his eyes a little bulge out though. Jeez. I wonder if that's from the hook or if, I think he's just a deformed little fish. He is just a deformed fish with a weird eye, look at that. <laughs> that's hilarious. I thought it was bulge out because it's so deep, but he's fine. All right, you weirdo, go down the hole that way. There he goes. And linger weird, they'll just play dead in the hole. I don't know, weird fish, yummy fish, that's for sure. Dropping down. Wash my hands. Oh, that one is just as dirty. Ah, I hate dirtiness. Need to bring some soap out here and I go just to get all that nastiness off. I don't like it. I uh, haven't been doing this bobber thing. I just started doing it and I actually like it a lot. It, it works good. I got these in my Christmas stocking actually and it turns out it's actually pretty handy. I uh, it looks like I can actually hook it to my line Which maybe I'll do. Might as well. Or just take it off so it's not annoying. I don't know. I'm gonna take it off. But anyway, just do this. 
my jig's too heavy for it. But I drop it down like that and then just reel up to it. <clears throat> it's just a lot bigger and less sensitive so I can see it. It's right there. <clears throat> then you can see how far off the bottom I am right there. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can. So I'm going down just enough and it's barely anything you can tell and it's just sitting there when i mark them i jig let it sit there and then try to get the gopro and all that stuff rolling so i get the hooks out for you guys i've only missed one so far but yeah it's just uh want to at least catch one more big one and then Maybe I'll call her a night. I don't got nothing else to do tomorrow. It's 11. We'll see how the fishing goes. This one might be big. Did I lose him? Oh, that was a big fish. Oh no. Son of a gun. Wow. That was a big fish. Look how far I pulled him up off the... I guess you probably can't see it, but... Oh my goodness, was that a big fish. Dang it. Look how big his mark is. Oh. Pulled him like 10 feet off. I thought I had him. No way is he going to bite it again. He just went back down. No way. No way. Come on. Ooh, this one feels big. I don't know if this is the same fish. If it's the same fish, that's crazy. No way is that the same fish. He's heavy though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh wow, look at that. It's a big fish guys. Oh yeah. I know he's tangled in that other rod. I'm not even gonna care. Oh yeah, look at him. Big old boy. Get him up. That's an eater right there, guys. Dang. Oh, yeah. It's a big fish. That's what we like. Barely had him hooks. Oh yeah. That's what we came for, guys. Big old lean like that. Oh man, look at that. Big old, big old lean. He might make it, but I think he's gonna be a good, good meal right there. Dang, look at him. It's good fish. Gonna keep him. Hey guys. I got the ice house all cleaned out and uh, I'm headed home. It's literally 12.30 and I haven't had a bite in like two, nah, about, yeah, two hours. So I'm gonna call her quits. I'm gonna do a little catch and cook on that big old ling in the morning show you guys how I do it and how I like to eat it so we'll see you on the grill